agrobiodiversity is really important to our organization. Uh, the first and foremost is that um, the agrobiodiversity is putting uh, or giving or attaining the agriculture system to sustainability. The second one is about um, uh, the agrobiodiversity is actually giving us the climate resilience um, uh, I mean practices that are making sure that okay we are resilient to the impact of the climate change and the third reason it gives um, diversification of production and also products uh, from our members. So agrobiodiversity, we are taking it serious because it actually gives uh, nature to be sustainable, but then protect nature from um, uh, from really the, uh, to the impact of the climate change and impact of of the um, of the normal um, uh, farming that is actually. Uh, done to destroy uh, the nature, like monoculture, uh, tree cutting, tree uh, cutting of the trees, and such kind of uh, practices that are affecting um, biodiversity. As a farmer organization, we had we have uh, different structures that is actually supporting the agrobiodiversity. One of the structure is supporting uh, farmers with skills and knowledge on agroecology and also on agrobiodiversity in, in, in a broader terms. But then um, another structure is to also organize our farmers into the groups and having farmers who are also capable to roll out this knowledge to the members. Also part of financing, mm. so we are promoting a microfinance group so that they can finance um, uh, activities that are actually conserving the environment and they are also taking care of agrobiodiversity. So in our structure, we have uh, um, a very competent um, um, uh, the farmers who are also capable to uh, at least uh, promote uh, um, rehabilitation of already degraded land. I was celebrating yesterday after visit because we learned a lot of things, but one of the very important thing was that, okay, there are, there are in the indigenous knowledge. We can really get some of the knowledge that we don't think farmers they have. The second uh, I got is farmers, they are innovative. They know what are their challenges and how they can really um, tackle the challenges at the same time making that uh, making sure that okay the farming system is sustainable and another thing that uh, is maybe not in um, in our country is that um, people here are really disciplined and they are taking agrobiodiversity as a collective effort where that um, everyone is really like committed to make sure that okay ecology is protected and farming is done so you can actually see visiting one farmer to another farmer they are not really different different uh, practices because they really have to abide to the agroecological practices and agroecological approaches that they are trained. And uh, the most important thing, governments also supporting the move.